What up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Downtown Remo, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Wednesday, July 12, 2017, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Raymo, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Netflix has announced that season two to their hit supernatural drama Stranger Things is set to debut on October 27th. The premiere date announcement was accompanied by a short teaser trailer on Twitter that features the show's main cast of adolescent heroes, played by Finn Wolfhard, Gatton Matarazano, Noah Schapp, and Kayla McLaughlin, riding their bikes inside the town of Hawkins, Indiana. Netflix captioned the clip, Some doors can't be closed, hashtag Stranger Things 2, arrive on October 27th. For a teaser trailer for season two released during Super Bowl 51 in February announced that the series would return on Netflix on Halloween. The synopsis for Stranger Things season two reads, It's 1984 and the citizens of Hawkins, Indiana are still reeling from the horrors of the Demogorgon and the secrets of the Hawkins lot. Will Byers has been rescued from the upside down, but a bigger sinister entity still threatens those who survive. Milana Weintraub will star in the new series Marvel's New Warriors. The 30-year-old actress will join Derek Theller, Jeremy Tardy, Caleb Worthy, Matthew Moy, and Kate Comer on the forthcoming Freeform show, according to the Los Angeles Times. Weintraub will play Doreen Green, a.k.a. Squirrel Girl, with Themer as Mr. Immortal, Tardy as Night Trasher, Worthy as Speedball, Moy as McCrow, and Comer as Debris. Executive producer Kevin Beagle said in a press release, I'm thrilled beyond belief to be working with this incredible group of actors. They are funny, sincere, eager, charming, and perfectly embody these characters. It'll be a blast and an honor to create this show with each of them. Marvel's New Warriors is based on New Warriors superhero team in Marvel Comics. The show will follow Squirrel Girl, Mr. Immortal, Night Trasher, Speedball, Microbe, and Debris as they discover and develop their powers. Marvel Television EVP Jeff Loeb said, according to The Hollywood Reporter, we're so lucky to have an ensemble uh, such as diverse and incredibly talented. We can't wait for the fans to see what's in store when we unleash these iconic characters into the world. Van Traub has played Lily Adams in AT&T television commercials. She has also appeared on the series House of Lies, Silicon Valley, and Other Space, and portrayed Salone Sandberg on the NBC drama This Is Us. Last week, Tonight host John Oliver has been cast as Zazu in Disney's upcoming remake of The Lion King. Oliver is stepping into the role made famous by Ron Atkinson in the original 1996 animated film. Zazu was featured in The Lion King as a political advisor to Mufasa and then later his son Simba. Oliver recently lent his voice to the upcoming animated film Amusement Park for Paramount and starred as Vanity Smurf in Sony's The Smurfs franchise. The HBO star joins a star-studded voice cast that already includes Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen as Timon and Pumbaa, along with Donald Glover as Simba and James Earl Jones reprising his role as Mufasa. Beyonce is rumored to be appearing, appearing as Nala. The Lion King, directed by John Favreau from a script by Jeff Nathanson, is set to arrive in theaters July 18, 2019. Steve Whitmire, the voice behind lead Muppet Kimrick the Frog, has been replaced after voicing the character for 27 years. Muppet Studios has confirmed with ABC that Matt Vogel is taking over voicing the iconic character from Whitmire, uh, starting with the newest edition, Muppets Through the Week, a weekly web video that premieres across the Muppets' social media channels. A spokeswoman for the company declined to comment on the details surrounding Whitmire's departure. Whitmire first took on the role of Kermit starting in 1990, following the death of Muppets creator Jim Henry. Henson. Whitmire was handpicked by Henson's son to voice Kermit, Kill Screen noted. Whitmire's last noble work voice in Kermit was seen during the, H, uh, the ABC's short-lived comedy series, Muppets. MTV released the trailer Monday for Team Wolf Season 6B, which features the return of Dylan O'Brien as Styles, Colton Haynes as Jackson, Tyler Hodgson as Derek, and Charlie Carver as Ethan. The show stars Tyler Posey as Scott, Highland Roden as Lydia, and Shelley Henning as as M- Malia. The trailer shows the cast reuniting and getting ready to fight. Team Wolf will return for its final 10 episodes on July 30th on MTV. 
Black China is terrified of what ex-fiancee Rob Kardashian, because of what she said, is his violent and suicidal behavior. A 29-year-old model was granted a temporary restraining order against Kardashian on Monday after alleging the 30-year-old reality star was abusive in addition to posting explicit photos of her online. Black China wrote in court documents, according to the Los Angeles Times, Rob has been violent with me in the past. She claims Kardashian attacked her during an altercation at her home on April 8th. The model said he grabbed my phone and punched me in the side, knocking me to the ground where I landed on my hands and knees. She added, according to Us Weekly, I had difficulty walking after that. I went to my bedroom and locked the door. Rob was so out of control that he broke the hinges off my doors. Black China also said Kardashian has threatened to kill himself multiple times in text messages since their split. The former couple, who share eight-month-old daughter Dream, broke up in December after getting engaged in April 2016. Black China told reporters after appearing in court on Monday, I would first and foremost like to thank the judge for granting me this restraining order to protect me, and I am now just going to go back to co-parenting Dream. Black China said on Monday's episode of Good Morning America that she was, quote, devastated after Kardashian shared naked photos of her July 5th on Instagram. Kardashian posted the private pictures after accusing Black China of cheating. Aston Kutcher slammed a news report this week that suggested he was cheating on wife Mila Kunis. The 39-year-old actor spoke out Sunday after photos surfaced of him boarding a private plane with the mystery woman June 26 in Los Angeles. He wrote to his 18.2 million Twitter followers, You should have heard how upset Mila was that I spent the day with our cousin. Sorry, Aunt Jody, these magazines lack integrity. Star Magazine published the pictures of Kutcher with the woman on its July 17th issue. The publication also revisited rumors Kutcher cheated on ex wife Demi War on their sixth wedding anniversary in September 2011. Kutcher and Moore split in 2011 and finalized their divorce in 2013. The actor addressed his reported infidelity to Moore while accepting the 2017 Robert D. Ray Pillard of Character Award in April. He said in his speech, I'm probably the first guy to get this award for character who had his name splashed across every gossip magazine as an adulterer like five years ago. The star added, character comes when those magazines tear you apart for something you may or may have not done, and you got to go out and perform tomorrow with everybody looking at you like you might be an adulterer. Kutcher and Kunis married in July 2015 and share two-year-old daughter Wyatt and seven-month-old son Dimitri. The actor said in an interview with the Howard Stern Show in June that his romance with Kunis was weird and fast. Real Housewives of Miami alum Joanna Cupra is officially heading for divorce. The 30-year-old television personality recently filed to end her four-year marriage to Roman Zago after splitting from the club owner in May, according to TMZ. Cupra said in legal documents that her marriage was irrevocably broken, although sources said the split was extremely amicable. Cupra and Zago divided their assets in a marital settlement agreement dated Monday. Lawyer for the pair said in a statement to E! News, Joanna and Roman successfully amicably resolved all matters, both remain friends, and deserve the best for each other. Eagle Magazine reported May 9th that Cooper and Zago had amicably separated. The reality star shared a topless photo and a cryptic message Tuesday on Instagram, following word of her divorce. She captioned the picture, falling in love with yourself first, don't make yourself vain or selfish, it makes you. Hashtag Joanna Cooper, hashtag Backdoor Manor. Cooper is known for competing on Dancing with the Stars Season 9 and starring in Season 2 and 3 of The Real Housewives of Miami. She is a host and judge on the reality competition Poland's Next Top Model. American Idol alum Haley Reinhardt was arrested recently on a charge. She punched a bouncer at a bar in Palatine, Illinois. The singer was charged with the misdemeanor counting of battery and is due to appear in court on August 2nd, CBS Chicago reported. Reinhardt struck the bouncer after she and several over uh, uh, patrons were asked to leave at the Lamplighter Inn Tavern and Grill. As the 26-year-old was being let out, she punched the bouncer during an argument. Reinhardt's attorney, Dina Lapalt, has responded to the incident, stating that Reinhardt was the one who was assaulted. LaPolte said in his statement to People magazine, without provocation, Haley Reinhardt was assaulted by bouncers at the Lamplighter Inn. After forcibly removing Miss Reinhardt, they violently beat her friend, who sustained multiple injuries. We believe that she will be exonerated on all charges once the investigation is completed. We plan on taking legal action against those who were involved in this unfortunate incident. Reinhardt is best known for coming in third place on American Idol in 2011. She currently appears on Netflix's animated comedy series, F is for Family. Kit Harrington delighted fans by auditioning as the nearest to Jerry during a sketch on Jimmy Kimmel Live this week. The 30-year-old British actor played the mother of dragons and other Game of Thrones characters on Monday's episode of the Late Night Talk Show. He said... 
Why, hello, Cal Drago. Would you like to see my dragons? He said as Demir's before opening his rope to reveal fake breaths. Harrington also portrayed Cersei's Lannister, Arya Stark, Yigurt, Holdor, and a White Walker. He actually plays Jon Snow in the HBO series, which will return for a seventh season Sunday. The actor told Entertainment Weekly in May, this season is really different than any other season because it's accelerating towards the end. A lot of stuff collides and happens much quicker than you're used to seeing on Thrones. It's quite exciting. Current Impact and Global Force Wrestling Champion Alberto El Patron is under investigation for possible domestic violence following an incident involving his fiancée WWE star Paige. El Patron, whose real name is Jose Alberto Rodriguez and formerly known as Alberto de Rio in WWE, was seen having an argument with Paige Sunday while at the Orlando International Airport. In an audio recording taken by a fan and released by TMZ, Paige came here saying, Stay out of my life. Leave me alone. With El Patron staying, Call the cops. Let's do it. Get the cops. Following the incident, the Atlanta Police Department has confirmed that they are investigating what took place. The police said in a statement to Dead Spin, there was an incident at the Orlando International Airport at about 3 p.m. Sunday involving Jose Rodriguez. The report incident was a domestic violence battery and is still under investigation. No arrests have been made as of this time, but the case remains open. This is all the information we have for release at this time. Now, Patron's employer, Global Force Wrestling, has also released a statement. Global Force Wrestling takes all legal situations very seriously and is looking into this matter. Uh, GFW is a privately held company and would thoroughly investigate this incident and fully cooperate with law enforcement, they said to Pro Wrestling Chief. On uh, Monday, Page responded to TMZ's audio on Twitter and tagged up a term writing, We got the cops involved. I'm crying because I found out bad fam news and a lady tried to take a pic. She gets angry and throws a drink on at Pride of Mexico. And that's it, she said in a separate uh, tweet, please leave us alone, that's it. Paige made headlines in January after she flaunted her engagement ring from El Patron on social media. The Teldiva star, who hasn't been seen in a WWE ring in over a year, had proposed to El Patron herself in the middle of the ring following a WWC match in October. Demi Lovato returned with a new single, Sorry Not Sorry, this week following a hiatus from music. The 24-year-old singer released a song Monday after telling fans the single is an, quote, anthem for anyone who's ever hated on. Lovato wrote on Instagram, thank you for allowing me to take the time I needed at the end of last year to step away from all the craziness. I'm so happy that I was able to come back to writing more music, energized and inspired than ever, and to be able to give my all and more to this new chapter. She also said, I hope the song makes you get off your seat and dance like you've never have before. This is an anthem for anyone who's ever been hated on and has risen above it and come out from the other side like a fucking savage. Uh, the lyrics read, is an, uh, for Sorry Not Sorry, which is an untempo song. Now I'm out here looking for revenge, feeling like a 10, the best I've ever been. And yeah, I know how bad it must hurt to see me like this, but it gets worse. Lavao last released the single Body Say in July 2016, following the debut of her fifth studio album, Confident, in October 2015. She confirmed in an interview with Billboard in May that she will release a new album this year. Star shared, I'm releasing an album later this year so my fans can look forward to that. It's more so and I'm going to go more R&B with it. And finally, Wiz Khalifa's music video for See You Again featuring Charlie Poof has surpassed size Gangnam Style as the most watched video on YouTube. See You Again has amazed close to 2.896 billion views, only slightly ahead of Gangnam Style's 2.895 billion views. Released in April 2015, See You Again is a part of the soundtrack to Furious 7 and acts as a tribute to the late Fast and the Furious franchise star Paul Walker. The clip features clips of Walker throughout his time starring in the series. Gangnam Style, released in July 2012, was the first video on YouTube to hit 1 billion views and was responsible, uh, was responsible for YouTube to upgrade its views counter to accommodate the higher numbers. And as your entertainment report for Wednesday, July 12, 2017, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.